This is a very uh, sick individual who's got uh, metastatic, uh, what looks like metastatic colon cancer, carcinomatosis. He has jaundice, and we did him about 10 days ago, and it looked like he had obstruction of the hyalur bile duct by lymph nodes. We didn't do biopsies because it was pretty obvious what was going on, but now they want us to do biopsies to exclude a lymphoma, which I find highly, highly unlikely. But uh, we sort of have no choice, but he's really not in really great shape. So we'll go very carefully. So there's his liver. You can see tons of ascites, okay, right here. And um, okay, tons of ascites. Uh, he's supposed to have liver mets as well. And uh, he's had an ERCP uh, for this stricture. But the ERCP described sort of a distobotic stricture. He does have, his distobotic is, is very thin, but there's no mass there. And it could be some type of infiltrative process in the pancreas. And the thing is, his jaundice hasn't really gotten much better since they put in the stents. So it's really not clear 100% what's going on. So I'm just, I'm looking at his liver here, and you can see that the intrahepatics aren't that dilated. Tons of ascites. Uh, torquing, trying to find his pancreas. I think his PD is right there, okay. Uh, more ascites and what looks like peritoneal implants and stuff. He had a bunch of uh, very large uh, celiac lymph nodes here, which we can biopsy quite easily. Um, they don't really look like lymphoma. Lymphoma, usually the, 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 ultra st the, the structure of the nodes is preserved. That looks a little destroyed. We'll go into the bulb. Okay, I, I can't give him too many drugs either because he's really, his uh, pulmonary situation is not great. Okay, so here's kind of the head of his pancreas. There's, uh, the, uh, I guess, the gallbladder full of sludge and stuff. Here's the stent in the bile duct. And you can see there's, you know, this, the, 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 the bile duct is, is collapsed over the stent, but there's no mass in the head. And what I saw was in this area here, actually, I think, you know, no, that's his gallbladder. Uh, there were these uh, nodes here and here that sort of appear when the, when the biliary stricture appeared. You don't see that stricture anymore because of the stent. But when we did him before without the stent, you know, his bile was thin, then it got big, and right where the, at the transition there were these nodes in the hilum. So that's why my feeling was he had a biliary obstruction from these nodes. Let me see if I can get into these. He's also got a very, you can see the wall of the duodenum is Little, little thickened, and it's very rigid, like, like sort of a, a carcinomatous infiltration. And we, it's, it was actually very hard to get into D2. I'm looking at the lumen here and just trying to push in, but it's very it's sort of strictured a little bit. Now I'm making my way in. You can see the probe is going this way. I'm going to try and shorten up now if I can. It's very difficult. There we go. And there's the, there's the, we're, we're at the papilla, because there's the stent going through the wall. See more malignant nodes all over here. Okay, pulling back into the hilum. Okay, so I think we're just going to do some nodes and get out of here. Unfortunately, our cytologist is not here this morning. And I think the easiest nodes to do are, see he's got tons of nodes everywhere. See he's got some huge hilar nodes here. And, and that's where the bile duct is coming out of the liver. So we'll just do some of these nodes just for uh, cell block. So we'll take uh, this 25 Procore with uh, suction as well. There we go. So I got the node in place, lock my up down. Okay, so, so I'm going to put the needle out till I see the tip. I see the tip there, right here. I'm kind of pointing in the right direction, so I don't need to adjust too much with the elevator. I'm going to go in. I'm in. And I'm going to just make sure I see the tip. Now I'm going to go back and forth, put the suction on. Okay, there we go. Um, So I'm going to come out, go somewhere else with the elevator if I can. There we go, back in. Suction back on. Going to come out, 
I'm trying to go somewhere else. I'm not showing you the needle very well, but it's there. There, see? Okay. There we go. Whoops, I'm quite far in, huh? Okay. There we go. Come out. Go somewhere else with the elevator. There we go. Okay. And... Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not showing the elevator, and there's a lot of blood coming up from the needle now. Okay, so here we go, just pushing it out. It's very, a lot of stuff here, so if it gets stuck like that, you take the stylet and push it out with the stylet, which always works. Okay, there it's coming out now. Okay, it's for, uh, there we go. Okay, so, and then I, I, I push out the rest with air. There we go. Okay, and we'll do one more pass. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go back in, find that node again. Maybe find a different one. Sometimes the nodes are, are too necrotic, so you have to... Well, this is kind of the same one. But these are really huge, huge, huge metastatic nodes. And as I say, when the internal architecture is destroyed, like it, it's in this case, that's more in favor of an of a, um, a, a epithelial cancer. Meds from an ep not, not a lymphoma. So suction's on, coming out, going somewhere else. Coming out. So I just doing some work, coming out, moving over with the elevator. There we go. Okay, see, I, you really want to go all through the lesion, back and forth. You don't have to do a whole lot in each place. Like, I think it's important to kind of go in different places. We're getting a lot of material because of the suction, a lot of blood anyway because of the suction. So that should be enough. Okay, so just pushing it out again. So again, it's kind of getting stuck, so I'm going to push it out with the stylet. Uh, for sure, with a 25 gauge needle, you know, the lumen's a little smaller, so stuff can clot more easily. But as they say, you can always push it out with the stylet, so it's not a problem. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it's coming out. Very, a lot of blood and kind of clot. So you put, you, you know, you push it all the way out and uh, you'll see that when I pull out the stylet, some of it will go back in the needle, but usually the lumen is clear enough now that I can push the rest out with air. Oh, this is getting a little sticky. Okay, so I'm going to pull this out now and then push the rest with air. And that's it. Okay, so we're going to stop there. So uh, basically, uh, very metastatic looking nodes, difficult case. Um, I think uh, for the FNA, uh, in these cases, it's okay to just put it in the cell block. Uh, 